Hello, this is Lorenzo from Event Espresso, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up a virtual events location. If you're planning a virtual event like an online class, virtual conference, or webinar, then this video is for you. Right now, we are viewing the venue editor. What I'll do next is I'll walk you through how to use specific areas of the venue editor for a virtual venue, and then we'll loop back and talk about why I recommend this approach and how it can help you. So let's get started by entering in a title for our virtual venue. So I'll say Zoom with Lorenzo. And then in the venue description, we can add in some details to let an attendee know what to expect. So we'll say this event will be hosted online through Zoom with Lorenzo. So, so far we've added a title and a description. Now we're going to scroll down and look in the lower right for the virtual location box and then we're going to use the URL of event field. So in this area I'm going to paste in a link to the online event or call and now I'm going to scroll up, look for the publish button and click on publish. So now let's talk about why I'm a fan of this approach. I like this approach because it automates the registration process for you. Specifically, the details that you set up on this virtual venue will be used on the event page. So for example, if this was connected to an upcoming event, when an attendee goes to that page, they'll get these details here so they'll have an understanding that, hey, this is an online event, it's going to be hosted through Zoom, and the teacher or instructor will be Lorenzo. The other part of this is earlier we set a link to the virtual venue. They will get that only after they have successfully registered for an event. So if an event is free, then they'll get the registration approved email immediately after they register. If your event is paid, they'll get access to that link after they register and pay. An added benefit of this is you can use this approach for multiple members of your team. So in this way, how I set up this example for myself, if I was working with multiple team members, I could ask them to also set up their own virtual venues. And then of course, I would connect each of them to the events that they are hosting and again, they would get that automation that I talked about earlier. So that is an overview of how to set up a virtual venue in Event Espresso. The next steps from here that I touched on earlier would be to go to each event that is being hosted by this virtual venue and connect it through the event editor and then save changes. Hope you found this video helpful and thanks for looking.